Hey guys, it's me Cosmic, and today we're going to talk about Furzu. Now, I will be fair here, and similar to the Fur Affinity video, I'll both go over the positives and negatives. Or positives? Eh? Eh? I realized I was retarded. Fucking kill me. So, what is Furzu? Well, on the surface, it's just another dating app. However, I would argue that it has a lot more common with Facebook than it does with your average dating app. And I would also argue that that's actually a good thing, because dating apps fucking suck. But that is going to be for a separate video dedicated to the topic and not this one, so I'll probably just leave it at that and get back to the actual topic. So, Furzu. So, Furzu is a part social network and part furry dating site. They have blended the two, allowing users to connect with their friends and the community at large, and also seek out the people they like for dates, romances, fun, or friendship. First, it was designed to serve the needs of the furry community and furry fandom. All genders, orientations, races, and species, and so on. As their bio states, our primary mission is to help furries to connect, meet furries near them, find furry dates, build the furry community, and form long-lasting relationships. When it comes to the main focus of Furzu, which is, you know, getting furries to connect with one another, it does the job good enough. Honestly, I have no complaints in that matter. It does that job pretty well. I also like that you have the option of global or local. For example, if you're not looking for a local furry to meet up and form a friendship with, but you're more so looking for like a gaming partner or something, or just an acquaintance, then the global is obviously what you're going to go with since the options are more available. The only complaint, I suppose you could call, that I have about this specific aspect of Furzu is that unlike Embark, you can't filter it down to your specific town as well. But obviously that's just a minor d thing. That's just a very minor thing and probably a bit nitpicky now that I think about it, so you can just ignore what I just said, I suppose. Now, one of the biggest downsides of Furzu is the fact that it is filled, and I do mean filled to the brim, with either just unreasonably horny, down bad motherfuckers that also happen to lack social skills. But then again, that is the internet in a nutshell, so you kind of have to get used to it, whether you like it or not. Or are very quick to assume things. Or is the classic quote unquote Ooh, what's this? You know, this is your buddy, buddy, ooh, ooh, kind of person. Even though, in reality, they're fucking psychopaths, but yeah. It's also filled with polyamorous people. So that's another downside. Keep in mind, if you happen to be poly and you're watching this, I don't hate you as a person. That's fine, that's your choice. You can be whatever the hell you want, it's not my business. It's just that to me, personally, I can never even think about engaging in poly relationships or behavior in general. And poly people just collecting a bunch of partners, like they're fucking Pokemon. Polymon, gotta catch them all. STDs are my destiny. Polymon, what is loyalty? However, make no mistake, there are a few gems in there. It's just that, you know, finding them and sorting through it is not exactly easy. But I myself have made a few acquaintances and someone that I'm even interested in on Fausu. But obviously, you know, it took me a while to actually find people like that. Basically, it's like quality control. Oh wait, I got a Discord notification. Kitty! I love Kitty! Yes, I love Kitty! Another thing that is important about Furzu is that, as far as I can notice, the majority of its user base are based in the US. So if you're UK based like me, your options are going to be much, much more limited in comparison to an American, where 
you know, because the of majority of the user base is also American, well. you're most likely going to be able to have a lot of options and a lot of things to sort through. So, yeah, that's a plus. Now, when I said it, it has more in common with Facebook, I didn't just mean that in, you know, as in the uh, user base is special, to say the least. But I also meant that as in, you know, you can post photos that are more than just, you know, uh, bio photos. You can post a lot of photos and also another pretty good option, well, feature is that you can post what's going on on your mind. Now, a downside that comes with uh, the photos, posts and so on with Furzu is that one, sometimes the posts are not the kind of things that you were hoping to see that day or not something that you were ready for, let's just say. Time to jerk off. Furzu.com, more like Furzu.com. I wish I had a partner from you for right now. Hey, cat owners, what do your buttholes look like that growing? Hey, girl, let me fertilize your mouth. I love greasy meat. People on this app are pretty nice so far to be honest. Someone sit on my face. I need to play my saxophone more. Prostate, lol. Hello, I'm a hypnotized little dude. Please use my triggers, master, and wake up. I will forget the trans once I'm woken up, and will feel whatever you're doing in RP using asterisk. Also making me think or see cock will hypnotize me more, so pictures and describing big cock will hypnotize me. I will forget I sent this message. I accidentally dropped my news back. But another really big downside, that this one is connected to Furzu itself and not something about the user base, is that Furzu will not show all of the photos. Some of them will be highly blurred, which is intentional. You're gonna need to uh, get Furzu Plus, which is just, you know, subscription and Furzu Premium, essentially, in order to see them, which I think is complete bullshit and a very bad idea. It, it's definitely something that turns a lot of people away. I would not be surprised by that. And if I remember correctly, there is a limit to how much you can post if you don't have premium, which also is very dumb and a bad idea in my opinion. But yeah. Something that I do appreciate and really like though is that you can take some of your more, well, saucy pictures and put them at a private hit section where in order for other people to see it, you need to grant them request. So if you're, let's say you're talking to someone and you want to get a little bit spicy with them and they want it as well. And, you know, they get a bit curious about what they're going to be working with. Well, you can grant them access to that private um, photo selection and, you know, they can go ahead and see it and make the decision on whether they want to work with it or not. For those who are looking for something that isn't really serious, that option is a pretty good option, as it is pretty helpful in, you know, making up your mind on whether you want to or not. But apart from that, you know, the complaint is the same. Same thing with the positives. Overall, in conclusion, it's okay. It, it's mid, in my honesty. In my honest opinion, it's mid. It's nothing horrible, you know, it's definitely above a good chunk of other uh, type of furry media, but it's not exactly up there either, it's, yeah, it's an option. I'd recommend Bark more, which eventually I will talk about Bark as well. But another big thing that I do appreciate about Furzu is that it's a adults only, which I do, I do appreciate that because obviously when you are in a, um, furry group, you already know some members of it are not going to be exactly appropriate, you know? So obviously, having it be an adults-only site is usually better. Now obviously, there is a possibility that some minor is lying about being adult and being there, but well, you can't exactly do much about that now, can you? You can't track their IP address and then confirm their age, so yeah. Furzu was created back in June 18th, 
2016. So it's not actually a new um, a new network. It's been around for quite some time now. You can use it on your PC. However, as far as I can tell, most people use it on their mobile devices. And as far as I can tell, it appears to be much more easy to use on mobile in comparison to PC. So, yeah. Now, the other thing about Furzu that I personally absolutely do not like is that it basically pressures you into purchasing premium a lot. Because by paying a small monthly pre fee, premium members will be access... will uh, have access to special features, such as unlimited photo viewing and uploading, which that should be a thing in the base version, in my opinion. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And oh, the next video is going to be part two of what is a kimono furry, because there were a lot of important things that I forgot to mention. So a part two of it is going to be needed. And yeah, I hope to see you again later. Goodbye.